Hello everyone, I'm Samuel and in today's video I'm going to remove this one for sure and I'm going to build another one that is going to be a cabinet, it's not, it's not going to be a bookshelf, it's going to be a cabinet uh, with a door so it's going to be nice and clean because I don't know if you saw my stream on Twitch uh, now I'm going to put a little clip so you can see how bad this one was and now let's go and start the building of this cabinet work a little bit better and I have also my other camera over here that you can see because I need this one for filming this part for the video okay so let's go back to so now I'm going to cut to size uh, those panel so let's start cutting Now I'm going to prepare the router table because I'm going to cut a rabbit for the back panel to insert the back panel. Now I'm using this one to adjust the height. I'm going to cut only 5 mm first and after I'm going to finish with the other 5 as you can see it's not 5.0 yes 5.5 I don't mind it's okay and now I need to set the fans to 1 cm so let me do it As you can see here, this black square is the square that I'm going to remove. Now I'm going to check 
if the distance between the fence and the line and the beach is correct. So now on the top and bottom part I'm going to drill a few pocket holes. You can use dowels, you can put in uh, the screws from the outside of the side but I'm going to use pocket holes. So uh, here the, the pocket hole jig it's set correctly and I'm going to start drilling. So now I'm going to build a simple and easy uh, shelf pin jig really fast using some scrap wood. So I set this dimension this is in this case is six centimeter because I think it is the correct distance and I'm going to draw a line now I need to decide if I want to have three holes or maybe two this is the middle okay great now going to four point five and four point five. I'm going to use my drill press to drill the holes. One, okay, great. Now I'm going to put two screws really fast, pre drill two holes.
So now I'm going to use my jig here. I'm going to center this one. I'm going to use a clamp and drill the first hole. Correct. Let's do the other one. So now let's start the assembly of the structure. Okay, I'm going to install this one here and I'm going to use my super clamp here, my magic clamp as I usually call this one. Okay, great. I'm going to add glue in a second. I'm only looking if everything is good. Seems to be so. Let me add the glue. Okay. It's really needed, this clamp is not, but if you work alone, you need this one, for sure. Okay, great. Now, Great. Perfect. And this one. Perfect. The carcass it's done. It's assembled and done. Now I need to take the measurement for the panel and I don't know if you remember but I cut the rabbit in here. And so I need to take the measurement only because I need to check if everything is correct. And after I'm going to cut my panel with the truxel.
And because I said that I was going to use the deco tool, here we are with the deco tool. Yeah! But again, as I said, this one is super nice. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue around all the uh, dado, no, sorry, rabbit here. And so I can put my back panel. <laughs> okay, here is right. What? Hmm. Nothing. Okay, great. Perfect! Super happy about that. So now, let's install all the screws. So right now what I'm doing, I'm marking the middle on the board. Here is going to be a little bit easier. Okay, I marked also the width of this one here so let me do the same thing over here okay right I don't know if they are going to line up or not. I hope. So now let's see if what I have done is going to work or not. A. Ooh, wow. Oh, no way. 
this thing seems to be working. I'm impressed. We have a frame. Now for this panel I'm going to put the wood glue and maybe some nails, some small na nails, but I don't know. For now, let me put the glue. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put some nails with my nail gun, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to do. I'm looking for the smallest nails possible, the 16 millimeter. Okay. Really need to be careful to not put the the nail in the wrong location, <laughs> of course. Okay, can remove this one for now. The door is done, I need to wait a little bit for the glue to dry but I can already continue to work with the other parts because I need to cut to size all the shelves and after I need to drill the holes for this door here for the hinges but in a moment. So first let's go and cut all the wood for uh, the shelves. Okay, so now I'm going to install the hinges, the European hinges on the door frame here. So for now I'm going only to mark a line.
I'm going to Okay, perfect. Now on the drill press, I'm going to drill the holes with the Forstner bit. Okay, so now I need to install the other part of the hinges in the carcass. And this is my method. I'm going to install the thing. Like so. Now I'm going to drill two holes. to pre-drill two holes and I'm going to install two screws Perfect. So now it's time for me to start sanding. I hate sanding, so let's do a little bit of sanding really fast and I hope this is going to be enough. Also, by the way, I'm using the Deco Tool Sender. And now I can install my shelf. Okay, great, perfect. Perfect. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe and to ring the bell and to share this video with all your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!